Hello and welcome to issue number 42 of Headline Heroes, a comedy podcast where we take today's headlines and create a comic book origin story. My name is Drew Mick. I'm Nathan Haynes. And I'm Tanner Ackerman. Okay, that's I think as much as we can legally do. I don't even recognize that, so I think we're good on I all I think fronts. that's the Rocky theme. <laughs> Tanner's laughing, so I know that that is correct. <laughs> He's happy for me. I'm so happy that you finally watched the Rocky movies. I haven't actually seen this. Starring <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> when are they going to do that? Am something right? about him with Sean Connery escaping Alcatraz or something. That's pretty, yeah. That's the whole plot. <laughs> nobody yeah. knows because nobody's actually seen those movies because they're not good. So, yeah. um, <laughs> <It's>, <sighs> no, you silly, you silly goose. That's the NFL theme song, I think. You remember just two, day, just two days ago, Super Bowl done happened. Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, you guys watch it? Uh, you know it, of course. Yeah, yep. I mean, I'm in the city where it was hosted. I had to watch it. Oh yeah, that's right. You were or are? Did you like? Can you go outside and watch it? Uh, yeah, it's in my front have? yard. Your front yard is the stadium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A road mm-hmm. runs through it, so like it was a little dicey there in the middle when that 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 whole team got plowed down by that SUV. But like, <laughs> oh, they're yeah, all that fine. Real, that was so really okay. unfortunate. <laughs> One of the like, two teams, the entire <laughs> team, got plowed down. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I don't know why they were all standing in a line like that. They were all, it was like they were going to give each other high fives, like good game. Like <laughs> game line. <laughs> so was, was this the after week. the game or did this happen? It was just after the game. Very okay. unfortunate. Oh, okay. and I, I have to stress, they, they are all fine. All of them. Glad, because you were there. Mm-hmm. I did uh, all the sorts of EMT stuff. Yeah. What's your front yard like, Tanner? <laughs> right I'm there? actually very interested in this, please. Well, there's a dead patch of grass out there that I'm okay, now it looking is winter, forward to. So that's probably okay. Well, no, okay. So it was dead before winter. There's just a big patch of like it's it's almost dirt, and I I'm gonna have to save it this spring. It's I mean, if you really want to know there. about my lawn, boy, you guys are saving things left and right in your front yards. <laughs> Did someone bury something there? Do you think Tanner is that is that why it's dead? Are there like weird oh. mushrooms growing on top that usually symbolize a corpse? Mm-hmm. Wait, is that a real so thing? Skyrim told me. Oh, I don't <laughs> think it's a real thing. Uh, as far as I know, there's nothing buried there. But I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm gonna dig it up now this summer. God damn it! Well, hey, here's a question: What was you guys' uh, favorite Super Bowl commercials? <laughs> Seamless segue. It was, you know, like, yeah, bring it back around. Drew, yeah. Drew keeps us on a short leash. Uh huh. Just like that team was. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, what I had to. I mean, <laughs> you know what it means. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if they had been it. on an even shorter leash, this would have not happened because they wouldn't have been out as far as they were. So it was too long of a leash. What was your favorite commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Drew, I had to stop to take a drink of beer. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. Uh, yeah, so there, uh, my favorite commercial was probably the uh, there was that that rally where they had that. The Minnesotans had captured that young ch- that young child, and they were threatening to uh, they were ransoming him uh, for money. Uh, and the reason they were doing so was they wanted the rest of the United States to acknowledge that uh, their stupid game is duck duck gray duck instead of duck duck goose like oh. the rest of the United States. And I really appreciate that the rest of the country held firm and did not give up the ransom, and they did kill that child. Um, oh yeah that was hard to see on live television i'd kill him again but we don't negotiate with terrorists (laughs) move over timberlake (laughs) this was the halftime show it was terrifying very like oh even worse than oh (laughs) five i think that was the nipple slip i don't know the real wardrobe malfunction was when his shirt got caught in that wood chipper so uh that was yeah. That 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 was your favorite commercial, huh? That was less of a commercial, more of a hostile takeover of a network, wasn't it? You know, it? I now I that I think it about it, I don't that think was that was a commercial. Show, so. <laughs> I think that might have been a hostile takeover of te- national television. <laughs> they were wearing some fun masks, though. Yeah. Um, what about you guys? I like the one where um, it like it's dark, and then there's a single light turns on, and there's a man sitting in a chair, and you zoom in, and it's Elon Musk. And he stares into the camera and then he gets up and he rolls around on the floor and he's rolling around in paint. And then he gets up and he says, Sherwin Williams. <laughs> that, that was a, a I would say it was a pretty risque ad. Yeah, there. I think that was Sherwin Williams trying to like go toe to toe with Doritos. 
I, you know, I thought it was interesting that if you, the, it, you, when you looked at it at first blush, I mean, he was naked, but like, it looked like they had censored out his dick. But then when you look closer, they just painted it black. And I was like, wow, that is some really good paint. Like I, I actually do. I actually need to go buy some paint from Sherwin Williams. Now I thought it was really clever advertising. Yeah. What's that black? That's that's super the, the, oh. the Vanta black. Yeah. Where it like absorbs lights. Yeah. To, to it's like extreme. 99% absorption or whatever yeah that's what it was and then he was also rolling around in green and they were doing fun little green screen stuff with him oh yeah that was fun <laughs> and then he bit into a hot dog <laughs> and then he got hit by a truck <laughs> yeah Ball park it's cranks. the same truck same truck is what happened after the show so that was mine i thought that one was um very smart and yeah i liked it tanner what about you well i'm glad you asked it was funny that Drew mentioned that Sherwin Williams was trying to take on Doritos because I would say Doritos was my favorite this year. Yeah. You know, they're always I mean, trying to push the envelope. And I, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool how they just had uh, Danny DeVito and Dave Franco making out on screen and just flipping off the camera, which they didn't censor, which was pretty all yeah, right. Was, kissing or the middle finger? Which do you think is more egregious? Oh, the middle finger for sure. What was oh, even yeah. weirder was that it just went on for 15 minutes. Yeah, and then at the end, it just flashed up on the screen, eat vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that it even cut into the third quarter. It was a little weird. Yeah, they missed <laughs> five minutes of gameplay. They kept fading out as though the commercial was going to end, but then it would fade right back into the same scene. It didn't even start over. It was just a little Danny bit Danny would just like stare into the camera and like, no, <laughs> not yet. Want you. Watch this. Yeah, I feel like it really, it really drove the message home. And then they got hit by that truck. <laughs> yeah, that truck came in out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, that, that's all good commercials. The The game was pretty good. I, th- I think none of us could have expected the truck to actually be the victor. Over the Patriots and yeah. the Eagles. Yeah, it went into nine overtimes, too. It was crazy. Yeah, I didn't know that could happen. Yeah, Dead so locked that's... at zero to zero until the truck really came in and won it all. I think that's enough of an intro. We did a good <laughs> job. I think that was good. <laughs> hey, Nate. Hello. I know we got to clear our system of the football, so uh, what? Uh, why don't you tell us what we do here? Oh, well, Drew, as you know, uh, every week we scour the internet. We comb through all those backwater websites that nobody thinks to look on and also the major news websites. And we pull all the articles from the corners of the internet with bizarre and strange headlines. And we put all those headlines in a list and we pick one at random to use as the origin story for a superhero or supervillain. Tanner, could you remind me what we made last week and then uh, tell me what we're making this week? Sure. Uh, So last week we, we did a villain, but I mean, in reality, (laughs) We really just pitched a movie, I think, more than anything. It was a very good movie. Yeah, very good movie. Um, so we created the Evil Eagles, which they were known as the Eagle Party. It was a dystopian future, and they were at war with the raccoons that they went by the uh, team named Trash Pandas. Now, I did want to stop you, mm-hmm. and it wasn't until I re-listened to the episode that I have to point out, and I, could, I might cut this, you say raccoons very strange. <laughs> what do you mean? I say raccoon. Raccoon. He's saying raccoon. I think you can say raccoon or raccoon. There's, there's I've never like, heard it's, that. It's how the A is, I think, pronounced. Sort of. It's like, it's Wait, more. So how do you say it? Raccoon. Yeah, raccoon. Ra- you're saying you, you're you saying more of a raccoon. Not not saying you are emphasizing that much. Or, or we are saying more of a raccoon. No, I don't hear the difference. And also you emphasize. <laughs> now you're just being difficult. <laughs> Fuck off, Tanner. I tried to reach out to you with my whole heart. <laughs> Anyway, go on. We made we made uh, the raccoon. Oh, but don't forget our actual superheroes. Well, it was mm-hmm. we were creating a supervillain as the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. Well, then we actually made su- heroes. <laughs> we- I forgot that well, we were actually supposed to be making a super. <laughs> I think the real villain was the dystopian <laughs> future that we wove. And then, then wow. the, the humans caught up in it that um, went by the names of Junkernaut and Debris. Puns off of the fact that the raccoons use garbage to come up with all their weapons. Because that's what they are. Wait, did you say they're garbage? Yeah. Jesus, Drew. Holy shit. Don't like them. Quite the statement. I'm sorry for all the raccoon listeners out there. I'm sorry from the deepest depth of my heart. Our numbers are dropping at a rapid pace. I see it. The ticker's going (laughs) down. (laughs) The giant ticker we keep on the wall here. Tanner, please tell me what we are doing. 
this week? So this week we're doing an actual superhero. The article this week is number three for you guys. And that headline is (laughs) Naked Goldilocks Intruder Ate Residence Pineapple, Officers Say. Um, this was submitted by. Oh, you want to, this you want was to submitted to uh, to us by one of my coworkers at work, Denise. So thank you, Denise, for sending this one in. I remember you sent this in while we were at work. <laughs> <laughs> a hard worker. That's a good one. Naked Goldilocks intruder ate residence pineapple. So we got it. I mean, oh, man, it really is. Are they bears? Go straight for a villain, right? Are they bears? This, could they be bears? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what does that mean? What is naked Goldilocks? That actually is, is a really good question. What does that mean? What does it mean to be I, a Goldilocks? I think I it's think just were the they fact just like we can't just say blonde woman. We have to say we Goldilocks. Have to say Goldilocks. I mean, it could be anyone. But yeah, I think it's just the fact that this person broke into a house and <laughs> there were pineapple? three pineapples lined up. <laughs> <laughs> this one's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one one's too cold. too cold. This one's just right, and then ate it. Yeah, just whole. <laughs> just I like to just bit into it. <laughs> I think some of our yeah, <laughs> just like took it. Um, didn't even it wasn't even peeled. It was just a whole pineapple. Stuffed it all into our mouth and pulled it out. Pulled out the core and the and the like it was like, on top. like yeah yes exactly. It could be this is a naked lady who really needs fruit to survive. Hmm. That'd be doing something different, making them rely on food for their power. <laughs> Damn! He's <laughs> gonna put you on Tanner? blast, Drew. You're fucking salty tonight. I'm sorry. It's just, <laughs> it just seems like we fall back into that so much. Because food is so easy. I'm hungry. It is easy. Well, okay. I mean, this thing is because we've done a naked intruder. Well, not an intruder, a naked person before, Wait, except what? they were wearing a mop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What if it's the pineapple? That's that's the real hero. No, but naked Goldilocks <laughs> is too good. Naked so, Goldilocks becomes pineapple. Um, no. Well, okay. Now hmm. you, you you are supposed to yes and. Let me just let me look through my. Yeah, I, right here in the improv handbook it says yes and. She becomes a pineapple. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. It and was a bad idea. She. Turns wait no should I turn into a pineapple be dumb to turn into something else from that is there an animorphs where they turn into fruit uh yes the answer to that is yes <laughs> moving on what was wrong with that pineapple was it a bomb or something? was it oh and she ate the bomb mm-hmm. okay that's something that that's an idea for what the pineapple could be do we I mean if there's if we have any other thoughts on it could be that she just is uh, some someone who's equipped to eat bombs and contain explosions. Okay, yes. And why did she have to be naked to get into this house? First? <laughs> okay. So she is showering and then whoop whoop whoop. Oh, the alarm goes off. There's a <laughs> bomb downtown. Got to get there in 30 it's seconds. It's inside of a pineapple. It's inside a pineapple. She uh, rushes out of the shower. No time to grab anything. Get, gets down there, eats that pineapple. Bomb squad is like, yes, thank you. Glad you could be here. Can you please put this jacket on, please? So so people know about her. Yeah, because uh, she used to be a part of the bomb squad. Oh, okay. And so then does she? did she one day... Like there was a bomb that was about to go off, and for some reason she had to bite it, and that gave her powers. It's a real. It was a real jigsaw situation where he was making her <laughs> eat this like jello that was actually nitroglycerin, and for some reason she was able to. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I was thinking maybe it was like the plot to Speed Three, and it's like if you don't keep eating this jello yeah this bus full of retired people will explode was that the bus that kept running into things on the (laughs) (laughs) all comes together (laughs) yeah it comes full circle yeah i don't know what would be an origin for this person why why if she ate the stuff why would that make her be immune to eating bombs i don't know what if one day she was she had her buddy which was the bomb disposal bot and Oop, she fell. She landed on it and became part with part of it. Oh, what? <laughs> what if 
one day she ate a bob bomb suit and that's just inside her now <laughs> she tripped and opened her mouth and the bomb <laughs> yeah. suit fell into her mouth and she chewed it so she <laughs> eats a bomb it won't hurt anything cuz it's going in the bomb suit yeah that's what her inside is got it all her organs are <laughs> squished to the <laughs> oh that's horrible is there some kind of i mean this may be taking too many steps back is there anything we can do with the officer's say portion? Like, is it made to... Ma- we're supposed to think that she ate this pineapple, but, like, there's the real story underneath about why the pineapple is gone and why she was naked inside this house? Like, Ooh, I, I don't know. No, that's a fun thread. What's the reason? So it's a cover story. Mm-hmm. Officers they, say that this what is what they told happened. the media. Okay, mm-hmm. so what's the real story? What What is more... What is something they want to hide that this is the cover story that they went with? Aliens. Um, bees are stealing back all the fruit in the world. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. They're real tired of everybody using their fucking pollen for making things sweet, so they're going to take all the sweet things away from, from everybody. Okay. So why <laughs> is know. she naked? Well. <laughs> well, if you get bees all over your clothes, Drew, what are you going to do? She got, take she the got clothes off. You're just going to leave your clothes on like an idiot? Oh, okay, you're right. So she's trying to prevent the bees from stealing this pineapple, and while getting attacked, she takes her clothes off because the bees are all up in her clothes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, we we're we're all over the place. Yeah, we got her eating bombs because there's a pine a bomb inside the pineapple. We got yeah. bees stealing all the fruit in the world. Okay, can we combine them? Oh God. Are bees attempting to blow up all the fruit in the world? <laughs> and only one person <laughs> can eat them. Why? <laughs> There's so much why in that. <laughs> because all the easy options are taken from us. You're right. We can't just make her into a pineapple person who has pineapple skin. This, we're too far beyond that. What if she's fighting a ghost and the ghost can only see clothes? And the ghost's only weakness is pineapples. So she takes off her clothes, grabs a pineapple, oh. and hits the ghost with it. Officers are like, and maybe the ghost is, wait, sorry, the ghost is weak to pineapples? Yes. Or allergic. Oh, okay. Or so the is ghost lady... is a pineapple. I don't know. Or the ghost ate the pineapple, and she's fighting this ghost, and the officers had to cover it up. Oh, so it's just a hovering pineapple. It's a possessed pineapple. <laughs> Or is the pineapple just inside the ghost's belly, but we don't see the ghost, we just see the pineapple in the belly? Bingo. Okay, so we got naked lady. <laughs> and she beats that ghost. And she beats a ghost. All right, I like this a lot. <laughs> there we this go. is really the natural Strangely conclusion. Strangely enough, I can't this we didn't makes find it way first. more sense than anything else we've said tonight. <laughs> so is she kind of like a Van Helsing kind of char- person who knows how to deal with various paranormal stuff like what do we got in there oh it's a blue phantom and blue phantoms are weak against uh pineapples and they see clothing so this is what i gotta do it's i've been playing some witcher so it's kind of like Geralt knows exactly how to fight that that stuff yeah i think so potions but it's like weird i don't know mundane type ghosts where like Another they, one, shitty ghosts. The ghost like is stealing all the peanut butter in a house, but it can't see clothes if you've ironed them recently. So she wears a nice, you know, suit that she just ironed. So all these ghosts are very like varying degrees of what they can see based off different clothes or lack of clothes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So th- this one with the pineapple could only see clothes. Exactly. So, okay. So naked can't do it. This this one can only see casual, so it's got to be a formal wear. Formal, yeah. So, sometimes there's like hyper specific ones where if you're wearing a suit, they can see you. If you're wearing a bow tie, but if you wear a regular tie, you're okay. And or, sometimes it depends on the way you're tying your tie. Like, yeah. what about a bolo well, tie? In there. <laughs> Every ghost see that, sees that. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No one, you can't hide that from anyone. That's that's true. It's like, oh 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 oh, we got a an A forty two. I got to get my I got to get my ball gown. And it, and then she infiltrates the ball. Oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. So is this like an organization like the Men in Black, but for ghosts? Yeah. Or the Kingsmen? Yeah, that's yeah. A more. They have, they have nice current suits. reference. No, Men no, in I Black, mean, is, Men in Black is pretty current, man. I yeah, mean, that but... came out when I was in like third grade. Kingsman is better though. Have not seen the second one. Do really want to see? I do want to see it. Oh, neither you seen it? 
Yeah, I saw the first I've one. I've seen the really first one. It. But yeah, first one's phenomenal. Second one isn't bad. Anyway. So we got a, an organization that she's a member of that mm-hmm. is set to help handle ghosts that have that are very mundane and have very specific weaknesses vis-a-vis what they can see depending on what you're wearing. Now, and it remind me again how the pineapple was a thing. Was it just a very oh, I thought that the ghost. ghost was just the mundane thing that the ghost was doing was eating their fresh fruit. Oh, okay. Yes. Like it wasn't really tormenting them. It was just like What's some uh, other mundane I bought that pineapple. I was, I was gonna make pineapple upside down cake, and now I guess not. There could be uh, one that's always unraveling all the toilet paper in a house, or even worse, flipping it from the the sheets coming from the top and flipping it around so the sheets coming from the bottom. Bastards. <sighs> yeah, it's almost it's almost worse. Or like maybe a house, like someone just makes a peanut butter sandwich and then puts the knife to soak in a bowl in the sink. The ghost just takes it out, so then it just cements oh no oh, yeah or one's always just like slightly adjusting the thermostat from what you had to put at <laughs> they move your when you're playing pong they like move the cup slightly every time you throw just so you can't quite ever you always hit the rim oh then i am constantly haunted by ghosts then. <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> yeah well from all the beer pong we play every weekend i mean every night yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we that's what we're doing after this. 24-7. Uh, Dad's doing laundry in there, and he puts it in the dryer and throws uh, two um, dryer sheets in there. <laughs> ghost takes out one. <laughs> Fucking mad ghost. God. Uh, oops, I moved your bookmark, so now uh, I'm a ghost, and I moved your bookmark to the next chapter, so you accidentally learned the, that this character died. Oh, Sorry. Dumbledore died. Crap. Whoa. 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 Sorry. Dumbledore is alive and well. In here, and I point to my heart. You're just pointing at your crotch. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that where your heart is? Yeah, where is your heart? <laughs> it's where all the blood is. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's just kind of mildly annoying ghosts that are, and she's equipped to go in. She she has the the knowledge to go in and fight the ghosts. Knows exactly what she's dealing with. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. She's the the expert of this group. This ghost group. Ghost group. Do we yeah. Need, do we need to name the organization? Oh, uh, probably. I, probably it's got to be a anagram of some kind. Not That's, an anagram. Uh, a bananagram. Yeah, bananagram. bananagram. Yeah. No, yeah. Acronym. Acronym. Jesus. Dan That's acronym, your last yeah. name, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Tanner acronym. <laughs> Tanner acronym. Yeah. So should we go into naming then? I think so. But first, I think we should do an ad. Okay, thank you. Someone giving that to me. Thank you. <laughs> I, yes, I let's do that. Do I, I wanted somebody else to get in on it this time. I thought it was Nate's thing. I didn't know. Uh, hey, hey, Tanner, you can have things too. No, don't nope. give him that. Get, take it back. <laughs> I want to say it. Cut it out. Here's a promo. I'm Jay. I'm Bob. And I'm Corey. We are the Cretans Guild. We're a trio of man children whose friendship predates the Lion King, Green Day's Dookie, the N64, and the Channel. We have backgrounds working in television, video games, radio broadcasting, creative writing, and pizza delivery. That's a large cheese, right? On our podcast, Nerd or Not, you'll hear us talk about board games, TV, movies, comics, collectibles, video games, wrestling, theme parks. We even did a segment on f***ing pizza. So check and listen to us on Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube. And check out our socials on Twitter and Instagram under Cretans Guild. Welcome to the Guild. All right. So, yeah, I think we have to name two things here. We have to name the organization, which has got to be an acronym. Ac- Ackerman of some kind. And um, <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like Ghostbusters, isn't it? Anyway. Hey. Um, and then we have to name this this lady, um, this expert ghost, mundane ghost hunter. <laughs> okay, my first idea is people operating over people. Oh, okay, so it's like po-op. It's kind of like an op of some kind. Yeah, po-op, yeah. Uh, I mean... Or pope. Close. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to write that down. P-O-O... Oh, wait a minute! Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he made me say the poop word. God. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything good for poop. I literally it was just people operating. I, there's, I'm sure there's something out there that was way Paranormal better. operative of poop. Paranormal. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. The poop is in there. 
again. Yeah, paranormal would have worked let's really take... well. God damn yeah. it. Fuck. Is there anything with ghost? Can we make an... Oh, guys. Can we please make an acronym of spook? Spook. Okay. Special paranormal operations observing Kilimanjaro. <laughs> okay, we were so close. <laughs> Sorry. It's the K that's tripping me up. Let me try again. Special paranormal. Okay. What was it? Operations. What did you say, Tan? Operations observing. I said observing, but we could back that up if there's something else that works better with the K. Of course. Now, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> special paranormal okay. operations. It's a, it's okay. A, okay. <laughs> Yeah, they just meant to make it SPO, but then when they were writing it down, when they submitted the form, the person wrote down, you know, okay, it's S-P-O, okay, got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> SPO, okay? Spook. Spook. I was going to say that, or we could do shook, like I'm shook, but no, spook, spook, special paranormal operations. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then uh, this, uh, what's her name? This this Van Helsing of ghosts, of mundane ghosts. Mm. Van and Kelsey. <laughs> it's that's actually the van that ran over the team. <laughs> <laughs> what about oh, I think it, it's Phantom. gone from being an ambulance to a truck to a bus <laughs> now to a van. It's some sort of transformer. What's she do? She's a ghost hunter of some kind. Something with clothes, maybe? Just to like reference I don't know, is it, hmm, but cause we're just we're, are we just giving her like a a regular name that sort of has something fun about it, or are oh. we giving her a superhero name? Well, her code name could be Goldilocks. Fuck, that's good. Oh, fuck. Send Goldilocks in. Yeah. <laughs> My hair's brown. Why do you... <laughs> why? <laughs> off, guys. Why are you doing this? It was the one the time where I had to go no undercover. You. I was going to say, Goldilocks is very good. Is that, is that it? She's just named Goldilocks? Code named Goldilocks? But she's actually named Karen Spook. Oh. <laughs> in, <laughs> inherited, inheritor of the Spook fortune? Yeah, of the of the Spook family. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, remind me, Tanner, how again did they make their fortune? They invented the mask that you see in the Scream movies. Oh, oh! Eight. Did they also did they make the ones that you buy at Halloween too? Mm-hmm. Yes. The fuck and wow. that hockey mask. Yeah, they're gonna Jason make money, making money for years as long as they keep making those movies. Hey, can you still buy that mask? Like, if I were to walk into a Halloween mask store, would they still have that fucking thing? Ghostface, yeah. Oh my god, so long. That's hey, Tanner, is that a good movie? Screen? Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite movie series, honestly. Okay. How many movies are in that? Four. All right, and how many um, star Rocky Balboa? Unfortunately, zero. Also, his that's that's a character. The actor's name is Sylvester Stallone. Are they? All, oh, they're all Apollo Creed. Okay. <laughs> Carl Weathers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Carl Weathers was in Arrested Development. Show him some respect. Mm, right, that fun television show. That we've all seen. <laughs> Are you telling me you don't like Arrested Development? No. Okay, safe. Love that show. <laughs> I mean, the moral of the story is everyone should watch Scream. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> yes, the the Spook family made the Spook masks, and that's how they made their money. But she's the last. So she's kind of like a Laura Croft figure. She's the last one of that family. Yeah, is that what Laura Croft is? She's of of yeah. Kind of. I don't know why you're getting a little like protected. Pretty there. sure. I don't Very know sensitive. about the old games, but in the new games, like yeah, she's the. Last I've never played of any of the them. cross. If and, we're uh, wrong, uh, call into our phone number and tell us, please. Yes, that number is. Hey Tanner, what's your cell? My number is. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, no, no, no. He'll cut it. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll cut that out. Don't you worry. Wink, 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 wink to t- to Nathan. Uh, wink received, wink received. Yeah, Karen Spook, who is better known as codename code Goldilocks. And one is that time, is that from something where maybe she had blonde hair for a mission she had to do where she had to do it and there was like three ghost bears? Yeah, so she had to fight like three bears or something that were possessed and, by ghosts. And these and bears that was kept like, stealing That was porridge. her legendary mission. That's what she's known by. So from then on, her code name was Goldilocks in that mission, but they just always called her Goldilocks. What's that uh, comic book cover kind of look like? Uh, is it her naked fighting like a pineapple floating in the air? But oh, like she can't be naked. No, say there's like some I don't know 
like a palm leaf that comic covering her. where she's covered by funny stuff. Yeah. Also, that's what I'm to say. we should maybe talk about like what what does she does she fight with anything? Does she have a sword? Oh, I got it. It's the back of the cop's head that's covering her body because the cops walk in and see. Oh, okay. And does she fight question? with like a some sort of crossbow? All right, a crossbow. <laughs> Problem solved. I was gonna say like a phantom uh, menace ectoplasm. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next issue where she has to fight like two twins and it was attack of clones <laughs> and then she gets revenge in the next one yeah and she, a revenge she against what in that lava river <laughs> <laughs> against uh s- sister against her sister her si- but Whose she has a lisp so she is her sister <laughs> that's really offensive and i can't believe you did that <laughs> Yeah, so she's naked, and she's got a crossbow and maybe some sort of like glowing, like plasma sword of some kind because it's the only thing that works against ghosts. I don't know plasma. I like that. I like all this stuff that we're just getting in here, like shoving in the door at the last minute <laughs> yeah. before the elevator doors close. Just like uh, also a crossbow <laughs> and a sword later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what do you think she should have if it's not a crossbow? Oh no! I mean, I I genuinely love it. We're just I just like that we're getting, we're just getting it all in here. Yeah, there's something we need to talk about because, but mostly I was thinking like, does the sword maybe also help conceal the the, the nudity? Mm, mm-hmm. mm. Maybe she like broke a pipe in the kitchen and like there's, there's a bunch steam. of steam coming oh, out of it. Yeah. yeah, and also the giant fucking floating pineapple. Every time I think about scenes like this where they like are t- trying to hide nudity like that. I can't. Do you, do you guys remember in the Simpsons movie when they made us? They made you look at Bart Simpson's penis. Do you remember? Yeah. What I do what the, the fuck? fuck? This is a Simpsons thing. I'm up to date on because I have seen that movie. Yeah. Hey guys, you know what would be hilarious in the long-awaited Simpsons movie? What if we did technically like weird cartoon child pornography? Real quick. Yeah. How old is Bart? He's in. Uh, he's gotta be like the eight. fourth grade. Oh, the that's nine? cool. So tell me, as longtime Simps- Simpsons fans that you are. Was this a question that you needed to have answered? Well, yes, but still, I mean. I mean, it was nice to know that my drawings were accurate. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a child, you were drawing a cartoon child, eight-year-old's penis. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, I was drawing everybody. I was drawing yeah. everybody. Penis, Everyone's, okay? Everyone's when you, when you word it like that, Drew, it makes it sound weird. <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad. Well, then I don't see why you're upset because this was something you demanded they they do. So it's one of those things like, you know, like you thought you wanted it. And then when they delivered, you're like, oh, wait, it would have been better if they never gave me the Joker's origin story. You know, that type of thing. Oh, okay. That's Mm -hmm. something I can. It would have been better if I never knew what Bart's penis looked like. Like I wanted it, but I also didn't want it was better. I was better not knowing. Yeah. I mean, Epa, uh, Epa, <laughs> Epa. Uh, I mean, Epa. That yeah. movie was okay. That was fine. I enjoyed it. I think it was ten. They're years making too another late. one, apparently. What are they really? Yeah, Stephen I think... King did the whole bubble community before them. I think I don't know. No, you're thinking of Paul Shore. I don't Shore. remember if he did it first or not. He did Biodome, 1996, greatest movie of '96. Fight me. You were five. <sighs> No, you were six. I'm sorry. Well, no, nah, a lot of time to watch. I'd have been movies. six in October, so the majority of the year I was five. <laughs> <laughs> this is good this content. Is, this is important. So yeah, that's I, I'd say that's pretty good. You guys good yeah. with that uh, that creation? I'm happy, I'm happy with uh, Katie Spook. Karen, Katie Couric, Katie Couric Spook, Karen Spook. <laughs> that's uh, her mom, Katie Karen Spook <laughs> Couric. Sadly, died in a mundane ghost attack. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good with that. So I think uh, now, I think we have a voicemail here. We should uh, play that. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hey, Headline Heroes. It's uh, your producer, Tyler, here. I've been trying to get a hold of you the last couple weeks here. Uh, must not be getting my message, so I thought I'd try it here. Look, got a lot of great ideas for the future. Uh, get back to me. You know the number. Ooh, yeah. I'm, ooh, I'm looking at my phone. I'm uh, uh, not seeing anything. Um, so Tyler, if you want to just keep trying to call me, yeah, I'll I'll pick up eventually. Yeah. Weird. I don't, I I don't, didn't know we had a producer named Tyler. I thought, I I didn't think we had a producer at all, to be honest, man. Yeah. I guess maybe explains my lack of response. Yeah. That, that could be, yeah. All I, I'm going through, I'm not really seeing anything except a lot of blocked numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all the same number. I'm getting a lot of photos of the of Pennywise from it. Just 
photos over and over again and from one contact is that him oh no that was me sorry <laughs> it's for it's for a thing like. it's a whole thing we're doing oh that's pretty wholesome uh well tanner he's your your brother i, guess, I mean i don't uh, think that can be proven we don't even sound alike i guess that's true <laughs> and modern science is not yet determined if it's possible to prove two people are related so yeah i mean how do we know anyone is anyone's brother i mean <laughs> i mean i think we all have to do the sensible thing change our numbers and uh move to a different state right mm-hmm all right, I'm just going to not just, acknowledge anyone whose name is Tyler, just to be safe. Yeah. All right, I think we just do a little do si do like magical chairs thing. We just switch states. I'll move to Nebraska. Tanner, you go up to Minnesota. And Nate, how's Iowa taste to you? Tastes like dirt, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, it's the that's, heartland. Um, that's just part of it. <laughs> it's like, how does it? How does so much dirt get in the air? How am I even breathing? <laughs> I don't know. Wait till cow season when the, the when the the crop comes in. Yeah, when all the cows when there, start. When there are flocks of cows flying through the air. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, I think, yeah, we can just wash our hands of this and just mm-hmm. um, hope he never finds us. So, yeah. Hey, Tyler, consider this us uh, getting back to you. So, Signing off forever. But we really should probably uh, do the normal. Yeah. Let's, you know, just just let's for one it. last go around, one last time around the old outro. One yeah. So you should definitely, time. Tyler, like try to find us on a different feed and don't come back to this feed, please. Mm-hmm. Keep looking. We're out there somewhere. We're, yeah. Don't worry. Hey, Tanner. Just for old time's sake, play us out here. Uh, so this was episode number, no, issue number 42. Yeah, 42 of Headline Heroes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're just going to leave that all in. It's perfect. We created a superhero this week, which was, Jesus Christ, we just said it. Karen Spook. We just said it. Karen yes. Spook, <laughs> a.k.a. A.k.a. Goldilocks. Uh, she's a member of Spook, which stands for... I should have written this down instead of just the word spook. Uh, something paranormal. Special paranormal. Special paranormal operations. Okay. Kinda okay. Got that, okay. All, got that all in one try. Smooth as butter. Uh, and also, I would like to, th- on behalf of all of us, thank Brett Jacobson for the art he made for us. Brett is actually currently possessed by demons, so if you see him on the street, throw holy water at him. Mm, or call Karen Spook. One Either one. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, we'd also like to take this time to thank Carl Sorensen. Carl did all the audio production for this episode, including all the uh, post-production and the intro and outro music. Uh, if you would be interested in working with Carl on this or something else, uh, if you want him to play the bongos for you or paint the paint a fence or just kind of look at you while you sleep, uh, I'm sure he's kind of willing and down for all that uh, and more. Uh, you can get a hold of him at carljsorensen.com. Yeah, Carl's a, Carl's a weird dude. So uh, <laughs> if you strange. want to... Send us any articles that you come across in your everyday life. There's so many ways you can do that. We have an email, headlineheroescast at gmail.com. Twitter, at headline underscore heroes. Uh, subreddit, you can submit them there, r dash headlines heroes. We also have a voicemail that you can call in, leave us just about anything, questions uh, for our upcoming 50th episode. Any questions there, we will read them for that special edition we're going to do. Um, or just anything. That number is 319 596 Six seven six six. So give us a ring. If you're listening to us on iTunes or Stitcher, give us a review. We'd greatly appreciate that and uh, a rating. And then finally, just tell a friend about us. Tell us about. Tell your friend about the the weird people that you let invade your ear holes every week. Spread the word. So thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll pick up the next issue of Headline Heroes. 